Infinity Slayer. What is going on, guys? I'm Falcon. Today, I'm bringing you a video on um, about the what Halo 5 has to do to be successful. Um, this is the first episode in the little mill series I'm going to be doing to test what um, Halo 5 needs to do. Um, in the gameplay in the background is a very decent gameplay. Got it this morning. These guys are absolute trash. But we'll ignore that. Um, we'll get a couple of good clips in here and there. So keep up, keep an eye out for that. But anyway, episode 1 is on the ranking system. What does Halo 5 need to do to be successful regarding the way the ranks are displayed? First of all, you need to ask yourself the question, or free for free needs to ask. XP versus skill. Halo, for example, Halo Reach and Halo 4 used an XP system of showing you your rank, which you gained XP through playing games, as you w well know. Whereas Halo 3 and Halo 2, I don't know about Halo 2, but Halo 3 definitely, um, their rank was shown by the way for your skill, so you, your rank would go up or down to SR50, um, depending on um, how well you did in matches, and yeah, um, well in my eyes, I think it should be a competitive skill rank, so it should be 1 to 50, bait or whatever sort of system you want to use, based on your win-loss sort of thing, you know what I mean, like Halo 3 pretty much. However, I do think that you should have a XP system as well. I think that um, also you should there should be an a rank system, a skill rank system, but it should be visible. That's what Halo 4 did poorly. Um, you there was a system. The system was put in place one too late after game release. That that was too late, man. That that was too late. It was um, and it's not even visible. See, so only the people that go on Halo Waypoint can see it. And let's be honest. I think only about a quarter, perhaps, of the Halo population actually use Halo Waypoint. I do, but I don't know about you guys, but um, I know quite a, if you If you're keen about the game, you'll play it, but for ca casual gamers, they won't um, They won't use it. They'll, um, they just play as they play, yeah? You know what I mean? Um, also, what? Also, the max rank. Now... The reason, I believe, well one of the, there were many reasons, but one of the reasons why gamers left Halo 4 was because the max rank was 130 and it only took, it literally took less than 24 hours worth of playtime to get to that rank. And that was an issue because if, um, that was an issue because that means that the gamers, they, they stopped playing because there was nothing worth to play for. Now I think only... 5% of the players that played Reach got to Inheritor. And then, if you didn't know, Inheritor was the max ranking Halo Reach. Um, oh, sorry, I've got a bunged up nose if you couldn't tell. Um, yeah, Inhaler Reach, uh, only 5% I think got to max rank. So, um, so it was obviously minimal, and it took ages to get to max rank. I'm not even max rank yet. I'm I'm, I'm only general grade four, so I've got to go field marshal, hero, legend, um, noble, mythic, you, you name it. I've got to go through them, yeah. But um, nova and stuff, yeah. But reclaimer and that lot. But in Halo Four, you only got to 130. And it only took less than 24 hours if you've done the challenges correctly. Now, what if in Halo Reach you may have seen if you went onto your service records, you could see the, not, it was all commendations, but there was like, bronze, silver, gold, onyx. D you know them? Uh, and you got them for jack of all trades, melees, like loads of stuff. You know, like the specializations in Halo 4, really. No, not specializations. Um, you know what I mean, anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got them for them. And, um, sorry, I'm just watching the gameplay. Um, you got them for them, and, uh, people and that was actually something to achieve and it was actually quite difficult I mean I only got onyx in close quarters because I did a lot of infection back in the day in Halo Reach and just I'm trying to think of what else I might have got gold or onyx in jack of all trade I'm not sure but it took a while to max it out and it, it really did take a while it took a very very long time and that's what Halo 4 needs to do they need to create a 
infinite number of ranks. So when people go back to the game after a year or something, like now, they can see that they can go, wow, that player has been playing this game for ages and is good at it as well. Because 130 means nothing. Literally everyone in the whole thing is 130. Um, I'll come back to this. This will be a part one of two as the gameplay is finished. I um, hope you have enjoyed part one. Part two is obviously continuing on ranking system and what I believe should happen to the game. Um, thanks guys for watching and it's been your boy Far Wild Kid. Peace out and have and welcome back to school. Thank <laughs> you.